Hi guys, welcome back to another More George video. Now it's been a little while on this channel. Quarantine has meant that I haven't been able to make videos on this channel the way I intended to this year. Hopefully later on in the year and next year, that will all change. But we have today another video about the Breville Barista Express. I've now owned this machine for six months. Is that right? I'm actually checking yeah. with my girlfriend if that's I right. I think so. I think we got it in January, right? Yeah, we've had this coffee machine now for six months in our apartment here in Manila in the Philippines. And as it's a bit of a rainy day today, I thought we'd make some coffee. I thought we'd give a kind of a six month review on this machine, what we're liking about it, what we're not liking about it, whether you guys should buy one if you're interested in this machine. So I'm actually gonna power on the machine. That's one negative, it's quite noisy when you press the power button, it's a minor thing. Because we're gonna make some coffee in this video, we're gonna see how this espresso machine is performing after six months. As you can see, the clean me button is on. Guys, if you're enjoying this, basically the reason I'm making this video is that the previous video I made of this coffee machine got way more views than I expected it to. A load of people watched it. You can see here the clean me light is on, so that's something I need to get done in the next couple of days. But that could be a separate video. If you wanna know about cleaning cycles, I also recently bought some descaler for this machine, which I read is super important as well. So if you want like a cleaning the Breville Barista Express video, then let me know in a comment below, that would really help me out. So I'm actually gonna start with the negatives of this machine. We're gonna get them out of the way, because on the whole, I love this machine. It's a great, great coffee machine. It's actually my first ever espresso machine. I had never made coffee in this way before. I had never owned a machine like this. I kind of jumped in at the deep end with coffee. I loved for years going to coffee shops and spending four, five, six dollars on a coffee, but now we can do it ourselves at home, which is awesome. So to dive in with a couple of negatives, to be honest, I had to come up with these. I had to think about this, because if you ask me day to day, I would have nothing but praise for this machine, but we're gonna give a fair review. To give a few negatives, the first one is, that is me turning on the steam wand. Nothing, nothing, one click, Nothing, another click, another click. A little bit of water coming through. A little bit more water coming through. It's kind of spewing something out here. And then we have steam. But we don't have full power steam yet. Okay, now we're, yeah, now we're pretty much at full power steam. Turn that off. It turns off quickly. So that'd be my, and then it's gonna make a weird noise. Ready? There it is. <laughs> One negative of this is the steam wand. It does take a while to come on, but you can see now I've had it on, it's gonna be a little bit quicker the second time. But this is one thing that you might wanna bear in mind if you're looking at other coffee machines. Some more expensive. Some coffee machines have way more powerful steam wands, but they also come with a more premium price tag. Remember guys, this coffee machine cost me in the Philippines around 38,000 pesos. I think globally in the UK and the US it goes for like around 500 pounds, six, $700. But I don't think the prices vary too much. So if you're looking for one of these, maybe look at, I don't know, Amazon, something like that, look in your local stores. I think it's always around the same kind of price. So another negative that isn't really a negative because of the price point, it's a single boiler machine. So you can either use the water or the steamer at the same time. So I can't pour coffee and steam milk at the same time. But look, it's a home setup. You don't really need to do that. If I need to make three or four coffees, yes, it does take me a little bit longer, but I can do a full jug of milk at one time and kind of share that between the coffees. There is an upgraded model of this, which is a dual boiler, but then you need the separate grinder. The benefit, one of the benefits of this, which we'll come on to in a minute, is the built-in grinder. Only two more things to get out of the way, which are the negatives. The water tank isn't huge. I find that I need to fill this up every single day for the amount of coffee myself and my girlfriend drink. Um, but it's really not a big deal. You just lift up the back, pour the water straight in. There's a minimum and a maximum line, as you would expect with any water tank. It's really a non-issue, but if it was slightly bigger, maybe that would be good. The top of this machine, where you keep the cups, it gets warm, not warm enough to keep get your cups warm. Like, this is warm, these cups are not warm. So, pointless feature, I don't know, but I think the idea is to keep your cups warm on there. The only other thing is the uh, the knob here for the amount of coffee that you want into your porter filter. There's an, it's manual, there's nothing digital about it, there's nothing particularly clever about it. It doesn't weigh the exact amount of coffee, but I guess you would need a higher end machine if you wanted that. That is why I keep set scales next to my coffee machine so I can, if I wanna be completely fussy with my espresso shot, I can weigh out the exact amount of coffee that I want. 
So now onto the positives of this machine and do I think you should buy one? Yes, I do. I really enjoy this machine. It does everything you would expect a home espresso machine to make. You have the built-in grinder. So you don't need a separate grinder. It's all built in. You can put your coffee beans straight in the machine here. You use the port filter, you press into this section and your coffee grinds. So you have fresh coffee every single time as long as your beans are fresh. It heats up in less than 10 minutes. In the morning, I often walk past, turn it on, get a little bit ready for the day, come back, make a coffee. It's hot, it's ready to go. Once the steam wand turns on and it's at full power, it's a good steam wand. Not as good as the steam ones you would find in a coffee shop. I went for a coffee the other day at a local coffee shop and literally he turned it on and he turned it off and the coffee was at the perfect temperature, but it's a home setup. I love the fact that the tray is easy to take in and out and you've also got some storage behind here for other, other sizes for your porta filter. I love that it tells you when it needs cleaning. And most importantly, you can get a great espresso out of this machine. Let's make some coffee right now. On this machine, you do of course have the adjustment for how fine or coarse you want your beans. At the moment, I've got this on a two, but that doesn't mean anything because it's different for every single type of coffee bean. It's different for the age of the beans and that kind of thing. But usually I'm using around 20 grams of coffee. I'm using at the moment beans from Toby's Estate, which is a local coffee shop near me. And I'm using 20 grams of coffee, which gives me a double espresso in around 30 seconds. Okay, so you can see nice and quick, our ground coffee here. I recently purchased this, which is a coffee distribution tool, which has changed my life. I recommend anyone who gets this machine also picks up one of these, it's really heavy. And this basically means that you don't have to worry about the distribution of your ground coffee. You just put this in, I'll give it a couple of spins, and then you can see that you have a really nice, even flat bed of coffee there. Having this chair on wheels is super handy for videos like this. Right, we're gonna now make some coffee. I always flush through the machine once before making an espresso, just to clear out any old coffee grounds. That's done. And then we can go in here. Got these nice little blue cups. These are from Acme. I don't know how you say it, but that's how I say it. We're gonna go double espresso. So that's another thing I love about the machine. It is set to give you the perfect amount of coffee, which kind of feels like half of the one of these mugs up for a double espresso, about 60 milliliters. And you can see here the crema that you get on this espresso is just beautiful. It's perfect for pouring milk into. I'm just gonna drink it like this tonight because it's already the evening. I know most people probably don't drink coffee at nighttime, but there we go. That's the life of a YouTuber. That is what this machine does to you. It makes you wanna use it at any time of the day, especially when you have new toys like this to play with. Let's give this a little taste. Mm. Oh, so good. So, so good. I should also mention the pressure gauge you get on this machine. Um, it tells you when you're in espresso range. It's not a totally accurate gauge. There's no numbers on it or anything, but I kind of know more towards the higher end for me is where I get the best espresso, but this is just beautiful. It really tastes good. So to give a bit of a verdict on the Barista Express, yes, I would highly recommend that you guys go and get one of these if you're interested. If you want to up your home coffee game a little bit to that next level, then yeah, this machine could be perfect for you. There are more expensive ones on the market, but to be honest, I think five, 600 pounds is enough to spend if it's your first one and if you're just getting into making coffee at home, that's still a lot of money. I think the investment is worth it because what I would have spent at a coffee shop twice a day, maybe, I don't know, everyone's lifestyle is different, but I was going to a coffee shop a lot. I was often doing my work at a coffee shop, so I'd go there, order a couple of coffees. That adds up three, four dollars every single time. This has already been paid back in the six months that I've had this machine. Machine for sure, machine for sure. So on my part, it's a great investment. Comment below anything else you wanna see on the channel, guys. Anything more related to this machine or anything else. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and we will see you next time. I'm gonna finish off this coffee. It's absolutely delicious. And we'll see you next time.